In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a tech trance lead. So we'll start off by having a listen to the type of lead that's programmed for these sorts of uh, tech trance tracks. So this one is very uh, chordal in nature, some intervals and melodies interweaving with some octave work down the bottom here. So we'll just have a listen to this with a basic saw preset. So there's our basic pattern, and we're going to load up the ES2, and this is just with the default one saw um, patch here. But you can use this with any synthesizer. And this is just the user default that I've created. So we're going to turn the first oscillator down by an octave. And then we're going to turn on the next two oscillators, both with saw waves as well. The second oscillator, we're going to go up an octave. And the third oscillator, we're going to go up seven semitones. I'm going to blend them equally and they're all going to be saw waves. Slightly detune these by a few cents and we're going to turn unison mode on and turn the voices up to maximum up to 16. We're going to keep the filter set to filter 2 but we're just going to increase the drive to about 60 percent. So that's already starting to sound much more tech trancy. Um, so we're also going to turn up the distortion a touch. Gonna ramp that up to about a third of the way around. Keep it on soft mode and keep the tone bright. And then we're just going to change the ADSR envelope to make it sustain for a little bit less. So we're going to pull down the decay two rounds. Just under a quarter of the way. And it says they're 40 milliseconds. We're going to pull the sustain down to just under halfway, but again, that's one point, that's zero point one nine. So actually, nearly twenty percent sustain. And then finally, we're going to re reduce or increase rather the release up to around twenty milliseconds. So again, less than a quarter of the the way on that slider. And let's have a little listen to what that does to the timbre. So we can hear that that's making it much more tech trancy. It's much more percussive in nature, and with that shorter decay and sustain, um, it really makes it very, very percussive and uh, rhythmical, which is what this type of lead is all about, really. If we increase that decay, it sort of becomes a bit too uh, forceful for the time being. So we'll just bring that back down to around 40 milliseconds again, and then have a little look at how to uh, use some insert processing to shape the timbre a bit more. So we're going to start by adding some stereo delay to the signal. We've got them on the same value but the groove is offset slightly to give it a, a more uh, interesting rhythmical quality between the left and right channels. A little bit of feedback uh, around about 20% on each, a bit more in there, and mixed in at just under 40% compared to the dry signal. The delays have been bandpass filtered again, probably bring that up so that we're taking out all the lows and uh, reducing the highs to about 2 to 3k, anywhere between 2 and 5k really will we'll do quite nicely for this. Uh, so let's turn that on and hear it with the delays on the signal. So 
So already that's adding quite a bit of interest to the sound. And next we're going to use the overdrive. And we'll open up the filter there and add in a significant amount of distortion to really grit up the signal. <laughs> That's a bit of brightness and a bit of grit to the sound. Um, and then we're just going to reshape the timbre a little bit using some EQ. And we're going to dip a little bit of the sort of low mid range, a little boost at 1k, and then a slight increase in shelf from sort of 5k onwards. And we're just going to cut the low end as just a bit of housekeeping under 100 hertz, or starting at 100 hertz. <laughs> And finally, we're going to add a little bit of reverb to the sound. We're going to use a, a nice lexicon plate to add some sort of spatial dimension to the sound a bit more. There is effectively our timbre. Now with tech trance leads and with a lot of leads in general, what really makes them kind of work is in the context of uh, the full track and full arrangement is actually the automation and the sort of specific programming of the automation and some carefully thought out morphing of different parameters. So we've got a carbon copy of that synth one that I just made earlier and this time this has got some automation built in and some additional processing so we've got a limiter and a sidechain compressor added on as well as a low cut filter as well and some of these things have been automated the limiter has been put in place because of the extra uh, increase in volume that comes from some of these automation sweeps and swells because tech trance leads really utilize things like the ADSR envelope and really get the sound to change um, and morph very spectacularly uh, throughout the arrangement to create really interesting kind of sounds and vibes. So let's just have a listen to this with the automation of these parameters. So we can see here with the different lanes of automation here, we've just got the low cut frequency amping up there to make the tone thinner as it goes up towards the drop and then cut back down for the drop back to its regular position. We've got the reverb starting a lot wetter than it actually ends up as, so it ends up with a kind of hazy wash and gets drier as it goes through. We do a similar thing with the wet dry mix of the delays for the left and right channel, um, starting at very, very wet. Uh, which has much more of the delayed sound compared to the dry and then we invert that ratio going back towards the drop and then finally we've got the decay envelope here which changes the sound and makes it sustain and last for a lot longer compared to the more percussive version in the drop. So let's have a listen to that again but this time in the context of the full arrangement.